Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Daily Word from Pulaski Heights United Methodist Church in Little Rock. My name is Jay Clark. I'm one of the pastors on staff here. We're delighted that you've joined us for this time together. Uh, all this week, it's been spring break week uh, here in Little Rock. And uh, so we've gone a different place because Dr. Robbins and I are leading a group of pilgrims uh, from our church in the Holy Land this week. And so we've been traveling around uh, the Israel and Palestinian territory uh, to um, see the places that Jesus walked. One of the places that we went was Bethlehem. So we're going to go to Bethlehem today. And we spent two nights in Bethlehem um, earlier this week. And uh, a lot of us dined with some Palestinian Christian families uh, while we were there. Um, and it's, it's been an awesome experience. Um, I've been reading from the Book of Common Prayer. This is not the old-fashioned Book of Common Prayer. This is a one that was written um, about 10 years ago, and it's called A Liturgy for Ordinary Radicals. It's a great devotional booklet uh, if you'd like to have something to begin your morning or end your, end your day uh, having some devotional time. Today is March 25th, and we're going to be talking about the Annunciation. On March 25th, we remember the special role that Mary plays in the redemption of the world and celebrate the example she is to each of us as disciples of Jesus. When the angel Gabriel visited Mary, she was a teenager in occupied Palestine. Uh, as anonymous and apparently as insignificant uh, as the billions of people who live and die today in the slums of megacities. But the angel of the Lord called Mary by name and proclaimed that she would carry inside her womb God in flesh. It's a miracle we remember even as we put it into practice, however humble our circumstances, that God proposes to live in and through our bodies as a sign to remind us that anything is possible with our God. We remember that Mary conceived Jesus without the help of any man. O oh Lord, let my soul rise up to meet you as the day rises to meet the sun. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us sing to the Lord, let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Here am I, a servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your will. Our psalm for today is Psalm 119, verses 141 to 144. I am small and of little account, yet I do not forget your commandments. Your justice is an everlasting justice, and our law is the truth. Trouble and distress have come upon me, yet your commandments are my delight. The righteousness of your decrees is everlasting. Grant me understanding that I may live. Here I am, a servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your will. 20th century Trappist and spiritual writer Thomas Merton said, The Christian life, and especially the contemplative life, is a continual discovery of Christ in new and unexpected places. Let me read that one more time. The Christian life, and, in, and especially the contemplative life is a continual discovery of Christ in new and unexpected places. Let us pray. Thank you, O Lord, for Mary's witness to joyful obedience, courageous faith, and a merciful truth that you dwell among those the world would forget. We ask this in your name. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone.